What's up guys? This is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. Bring you guys a brand new video. Today's video, I'm gonna do a first impressions of the Speedians Gym Monster. Could this be a right fit for you guys in your home gym? Let's see and find out. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, before we get started on the review of the Speedians Gym Monster, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. To push this video across the world, baby, my name is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. I do home gym reviews, tips and tricks, show that you out there can get jacked in your home gym, baby. So today, we are doing a first impressions of the Speedience Gym Monster. So smart home gym equipment definitely has a lot of popularity to it. For a consumer out there looking for something to put into for instance, where this is a spare bedroom or maybe in their living room or in a small room where they can work out or a definitely a smaller apartment. So what they have to offer here in the Speed and Gym Monster is I honestly like to refer to like a smart functional trainer in my spare bedroom. So talking about this, first thing I want to mention is the assembly of this is literally None. This thing came literally out of the package, wheeled it right in to my spare bedroom, and I think that's a massive pro because assembling things, especially to this magnitude, with all of this, you know, smart devices like this, with all its technology, is very nice, especially for a dummy like me. Assembly is not something that I really enjoy. And then also the fact, too, that this is a space saving design with its smaller screen. Now, keep in mind, they have other screens you can get that are bigger than this in their packages. This is just their works packages, their basic packages they have. And the space saving design is this platform can come down and come up so you can store it away in different parts of your house. So like if I want to just store this against the wall, it's not taking up a lot of space and you can get a full workout in with what this has to offer. So talking price of what something like this has to offer for you guys. This again is their works package. Comes in at a whopping little over $2,500. Now, <laughs> yes, that is a hefty price tag. I'm not gonna lie, it is. But again, this has 220 pounds of built-in electronic magnetic resistance in it. So again, that's a pretty decent amount of weight for most people out there. And when you do something like magnetic resistance type of exercises, it definitely feels a lot heavier compared to sometimes different dumbbell or barbell exercises. So definitely a lot of mind muscle connection and just great pumps when you're using magnetic resistance. Uh, so honestly, essentially, this is like a functional trainer you utilize in your small room. And honestly, the cool thing is too, this can be adjusted on both sides. There's numerous adjustments for whatever exercises you guys need to do. And again, it's really nice is the screen here offers courses, workouts, it has a free lift, it tracks your data for, you know, how much, you know, you've been moving, you know, it tracks like your calories you burned, it tracks just overall like how you've been doing each day and I think that's nice for people too that don't have maybe they don't want to write everything down. They don't want, you know, get a clipboard write everything down. It has all that built into this system here. Again, you're spending $2,500, you're getting a premium product. That's space saving. Is it for everyone? Absolutely not. Some people say, Luke, you know what? I'm gonna stick to dumbbells, I'm gonna stick to a barbell, I'm gonna stick to the traditional way of working out. Of course, but there is value to some people out there in the home gym space with this. So a pretty cool feature that I like about this Speedians Gym Monster is that you can take this off and then it goes down on the bottom section here for both sides so you can do honestly when you're lower down the platform you can do more things like legs you know or especially like a bench press or like a seated curl because obviously without that feature <laughs> it would be hard to do certain exercises so i just want to show you guys what the screen looks like and what this has to offer for you guys so i'll kind of just break down each piece and go from there so obviously you got what today is What's really cool is when I turn this on, it actually gave me updates of newest things they're adding. So they're definitely keeping up with the software, which is a huge plus because I know 
you know, with these machines, you get weary of like, is the company going to go out of business? And are you going to stay up to date with updating this? Because with, you know, anything smart equipment or iPhones, etc., if the company's not on top of things to fix things, okay, this thing's going to be pretty much useless. So if you take a look, like you got your daily workouts recommended. And then if we go here, recommended workouts, you can go to more. And then from there, if you take a look, it has over 620 movements, 56 programs, and then you got your popular programs, you know, you're fully guided, your strength gaining, your hits, your cardio, your sports specific, quick hit, shaping, get fit, get, I'm sorry, get fit, all inclusive stretch and activation. And nice thing is too, you can go to like the newest programs or the most popular you can go to your level. So like, obviously I would be going more towards advanced, but for a machine like this, most people are usually in the beginner phases or getting to the intermediate phases. So we do, let's do beginner. It gives you beginner training sessions for gaining strength. If you want to just go to all, it gives all of them duration. If you want a quick workout to like a more extensive workout, you can add that and more filters is if you want to hit specific body parts, it has that to offer and then you can add things to your collections to come back to later. So again, that is your recommended workouts, recommended programs, if we go to that. Essentially, it gives you um, two, three, four, five week programs. So if you don't wanna start your own program, make up your own program, they have that. You know, they have different splits. You know, I think for a beginner, this is probably, in my opinion, the best is full body for beginners and it gives a full body training session <laughs> and it gives you know the first week what days you're going to do the duration the times the levels it's kind of cool too it gives you an introduction and then if you want to just hit join you would do is when you want to expect to start it and then you just hit join program and then you just hit start and then from there it gives you your target parts you're going to hit for that day it gives you details of what exercises you know except especially like your stretches you're going to do so you have a breakdown of each which you can tell this is very very organized and two they got just the videos are very well done and i like too that's actually if we hit start here let's prepare this thing is it definitely takes some time like i definitely know what's my internet access that takes it so long to get this prepared but yeah see it says it's slow initially please wait it's just because things take a while with my internet but essentially when you get this loaded up okay you can do exactly step by step of what you want to do and then if we take a look at this little button here the button here is nice because you can you got your volume your background music your guidance your brightness on your screen especially if it's dark out you want to do that and if you want your smart load off or on and then bluetooth device single tap or double tap which you can tell the workout does take a while, but again, it's a five week program. So it takes a while with internet access. So we'll let that load in and just kind of go back to the beginning here. There's a Facebook group, which is really cool. So like there's over 4,000 members. They essentially it's, they give tips and tricks of everything that you, you know, want to know more about expedience and keep up to date with everything they have to offer. And then essentially what I honestly do, since I honestly don't need, you know, a lot of these programs or these workouts, cause I kind of have an idea of what I want to do every time. Cause I have my own programming. I do, I just do the free lift and you can see with the free lift, you got your standard mode, which honestly, if you take a look and it's nice, if you're like, look what the heck standard mode, it gives you like the question mark gives you exactly what it is. So it remains constant and consistent with the actual weight you're doing. So 26 pounds, 26 pounds. If you wanted to do chain mode as you pull more, Okay, obviously the weight increases. It's like having a chain when you're doing different workouts, which chain mode they like say is advanced. You could do eccentric, which it'll be, the retraction will be greater. So as you're going, you see as you're going down the movement, it gets harder and harder and harder resistance. Or you could do is your fixed speed, which this is honestly, I will never do this. It's kind of just for you have injuries, etc. And then you can click if you want to do a dumbbell or a barbell partner mode which is which is cool so like you can have two different people going back and forth with your exercises and then if you want assist mode essentially if you think you're going to need help you can do assist one or you need more help you hit assist two 
And then the free lift's nice because you can pick whatever resistance you want to do on each side here. And I think, honestly, as someone who is more of an advanced lifter, this is something I gravitate more is the free lift. And then once you're done with the workout, it goes in your data to track how you're doing with just overall using this experience. So I wanna talk about the accessories you guys get with your Speed Inch Gym Monster, my experience with them, what I've done with them exercise wise and go from there. So the first one I have is their handles here. So these handles are honestly plastic. So before I talk about my, my impressions of them, okay, exercises I've mainly done with these is, you know, like cable flies which is probably my most dominant exercise I do with handles is cable flies. You can do different curl variations, triceps, chest. You can do rows with it, one arm rows, two arm rows with it. Um, all those exercises do honestly feel great, but when it comes to these type of handles, A, <laughs> there's zero grip on these, it's plastic, and B, they're just honestly kind of cheap, which is fine to cut costs. The cool thing is, guys, which again, it's, they they'll do the job they will but the cool thing is they give you is these little rings here that hook up into the little cable ball and then you can use is they give us some carabiners here and you can get another carabiner and get your own cable attachments if you when you get this or if you're looking to get this you know you can replace that with maybe some nice knurled handles uh for that um the next thing i have here is you got your ankle straps which honestly, ankle straps primarily is obviously you're, just, you're doing legs, you know, you're working your hips, you're working maybe do like a leg curl. You could try to do a leg extension on this. Um, I personally have not tried that yet, but honestly leg curls and just doing different sort of ways to work my hips are honestly been great with this or donkey kicks honestly have been very good with these as well. You know, they're just your traditional ankle straps or nothing to cry home about. They get the job done. The next thing you'll get is your tricep, you know, rope here, your rope in general, which honestly, this is great for if you wanted to do a face pull, which honestly it works your rhomboids, or you want to just do, you know, a tricep, you know, push down. Honestly, this rope feels like just your traditional rope you can get on Amazon, which again, nothing to cry home about, but gets the job done. Then the next thing is you get this belt. This belt, honestly, it's pretty sweet for doing squats. You know, Lord help me, can do some lunges with it. Honestly, different leg exercises with this, mainly just doing like a belt squat or the lunges, I haven't done enough, but you know, squats just in general with the belt does feel really, really nice. Um, especially that, that electric, electric magnetic resistance. It's hard, it's hard. And then the other thing you get, which I can show a close up here, is this barbell here, which this barbell has knurling on each side. It's nothing to cry, cry home about, but at least they do have knurling on it, which is a win. And obviously this bar can be used for numerous exercises. Honestly, RDLs feel fantastic with this. It feels great. Uh, you can do a row, you can do curls. I honestly have not really cared to do a squat or a bench on this, unless I get those J hooks, which is something you can get in the future, or hopefully they add into the the works package and the beginning package but i mean decent you know it's not bad it gets the job done and then obviously you can get a pad here this pad can be nice if you wanted to do you could do hip thrusts you know with the the bar here you could also you know use this if you are going to bet you're i'm sorry you're going to squat too you know if you want that extra support on your neck and then you get this bench here now we take these cable attachments down here this bench let's just say it's okay. It's okay. It's definitely a little wobbly. It's nothing to cry home about. It's honestly just a cheap bench to get the job done. So honestly, I suggest if you're going to spend $2,500 on a piece of equipment like this, you should just go on Amazon. Now they sell their own bench. You could go for that. Honestly, get something on Amazon. Nothing crazy. You don't need to buy a fancy you know, rogue bench or anything to cry home about with something like this, get a decent flybird bench. It'll do the job with incline or decline that you're able to do, you know, different incline and decline movements. Cause with the works package, you only get the flat bench. It's really not the best. No. So nice to get your own bench with incline 
decline and flag on Amazon. But again, these attachments get the job done for what you want. You also get this mat here. This mat can be used if you're doing yoga, aerobics, or you're just doing some stretching on the floor as well. So two other accessories you guys get with the Speed Gym Monster is this piece right here that goes on your finger. And essentially what this does, I'll show you guys a little close up here. It's got this nozzle here. If you can watch the screen, if you click it, it turns the weight on. You click it again, turns it off, and then it dials to where you have your different pounds per side. So if you're doing different movements, if you want to, you know, stop the weight and push it down, you know, if you're out of, let's say you're out of gas, you don't have another rep, you can click this, it's on, it's off. Or if you're like, you know, you want to do like a quick superset, you know, you don't want to hit the screen, use the same, you know, you're using handles, you want to hit the screen, just turn this, and then it can go to wherever weight you want to go, which I think is a really cool feature. And it's not super bulky and it's pretty honestly convenient. Just goes on your finger like this. Also too, on each side is they will provide J hooks. Those J hooks will be, again, will be really nice for doing squats. So when you can, co you can come off the uprights here to do a squat or you can put it, rack it up when you're doing bench. So it's not awkward to get it off, which honestly is a huge win with the Speedians Gym Monster. So overall guys, first impressions of the Speedians Gym Monster, talking the pros, number one, space saving. You can, you can wheel this around, you can store this wherever you want in a space saving matter, which is huge. Number two is the catalog of workouts and programs for beginners especially. It's a personal trainer in a screen for people that are, don't wanna to go to the gym, you know, they have the expendable income, they can have this personal trainer in their bedroom, and you can honestly make pretty serious gains with this. You can. 220 pounds is plenty for most people out there trying to just make progress at home. And I think also too, I just like that it's honestly a functional trainer in one system here. It's very, honestly, it's very versatile. You can do so many exercises with the various accessories it has to offer. So you can get full body movements. You can work your full body and honestly make progress with honestly too, I like that it collects your data so you can see your progress, you know, with your different exercises, you know, different calories, you know, your calories you're burning, just seeing how you're progressing with this piece. And honestly, one of the biggest pros is there's no subscription fee. That's the thing about tonal subscription fee. I'm sorry, subscription fee, extremely expensive. This is pretty much half the price of no subscription fee, which is honestly a massive pro. Um, I would definitely say too, some of the accessories, like the handles were just okay. I'm not a huge fan of the bench, it's just okay. You know, you can do replacements of that because I do think the overall machine is honestly pretty sweet. You can replace those things for very inexpensive. Honestly, Amazon is totally fine. And then honestly, those are the main things that I've seen so far. Only been using this for less than a month and I'm gonna do a full review in the future. So I know this video might be long, but there's so much that has, this thing has to offer that I think does have value for people out there. And obviously if you guys are interested, um, let me know in the comments. If you're like, Luke, this isn't for me, let me know in the comments. And I do have some, a little bit of money off in the description if you guys are looking to get something like this in your home gym. And again, excited to make more content on this because again, I think there is a lot that you can do with this Speedingest Gym Monster. But yeah, thanks for sticking around for this video. This is Luke, Luke's Garage Gym. See you guys later.